The Mothman. It's a strange bird-like creature that is often sighted just before disaster strikes. Described as a giant flying humanoid, the Mothman is unique in that it has a definitive start date and location. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the original story of the Mothman, as well as bringing you up to date with the most recent sightings of this alleged harbinger of doom. Mothman fans unite, hit those lights, and enjoy. Now, before we begin, we'd just like to say a few words about Aura. We know that the world is a scary place. We've shown you enough spooky, supernatural, and downright creepy things on this channel to be aware of it. But sometimes Googling yourself can be the scariest thing of all. If you've ever done this, you might well be shocked to see your personal details plastered on the public site, just ready to be sold to the highest bidder. It's weird to see your data on there, but it's worse when you realize that people are making money off selling your data to all sorts of people. Luckily, today's sponsor Aura can help make all of that go away. Aura is an amazing service that can automatically plug up the leaks in your personal information, sending requests to data brokers to remove your data. It's not just that though, Aura offers the full protection package, including a VPN, antivirus, identity theft insurance, and more, all for one affordable price. Aura can keep you safe online, so you can have one less thing to worry about. You can try Aura for free for two weeks by using our link, www.aura.com forward slash top fives, by scanning the QR code on the screen, or by clicking the link in the description. And now, if you haven't already done so, hit those lights, sit back, and enjoy. The Original Mothman Would you believe it's been over 50 years since the original sighting of the Mothman? The creature was first witnessed on November 12, 1966, when five grave diggers working near Point Pleasant, West Virginia, claimed to have seen a man-like figure with huge bat wings fly down from nearby trees straight over their heads. A few days later, Roger Scarberry, his wife, and three others ran terrified into the Mason County Courthouse, claiming they had also witnessed a seven-foot creature with glowing red eyes and huge wings that followed them in their car for some time before flying off into the night sky, just before they reached the courthouse. Deputy Millard Halstead, who had been on duty that night, said he was convinced that people were not lying. He knew them, and all five gave exactly the same account of what they had seen, even though they were interviewed separately. The deputy later said the terror in their eyes was very real. The incident was taken so seriously that Scarberry and Halstead revisited the site near the McClintic Wildlife Management Area where the creature had been first spotted. And although nothing was found, it wasn't long before the locals got wind of the sightings and in fear of their lives, took up arms and started combing the area to try and track down and kill the beast. The search was unsuccessful and not long after the creature made another appearance. Marcella Bennett, who was completely unaware of the sightings, was visiting a friend who lived close to the wildlife area. As she left the house to walk to her car, she was confronted by a large, grey, human-like creature with giant wings and glowing red eyes. Marcella was so terrified, she dropped her infant daughter to the ground and lay on top of her to protect her. She stayed motionless for several minutes before eventually getting up and running back to the house where the police were quickly called. Her friends also witnessed this creature as it walked up to the porch and tried to peer through the glass door, but it quickly disappeared as officers approached. Throughout that year, many more locals came forward with similar sightings, some saying they had kept quiet about their encounters for fear they would not be believed. All the witnesses described the exact same creature with its dark human-like face, glowing red eyes, huge wingspan, and strange vertical takeoff before disappearing into the sky. A year after the original sightings, tragedy struck for the residents of Point Pleasant. On December 15, 1967, the Silver Bridge, a steel bridge connecting the states of Ohio and West Virginia, and the main route into the town of Point Pleasant, mysteriously collapsed. The accident took the lives of 46 people, two of which were never found. In the hours leading up to the disaster, people saw a giant bird standing on top of the bridge. Many believed this was the same terrifying mothman that had been spotted in and around the town in the months before the disaster, and that he was either showing himself as a warning of the imminent bridge collapse, or that it was he who was responsible for it. 
After the bridge collapsed, the Mothman sightings completely stopped, and he has never been seen again. Despite this tragedy, the town of Point Pleasant has kept the Mothman legend alive, and it attracts hundreds of tourists every year. It even holds a yearly Mothman festival, has a Mothman museum, and has installed a 12-foot metallic statue of the creature. The town certainly keeps the legend alive, and it does make you wonder what exactly did the people of Point Pleasant witness back in the late 1960s. Let's take a look at a chilling sighting of the Mothman at the Chernobyl nuclear power plant. In the north of the Ukrainian SSR, exploded during a routine test. This was the start of a series of explosions and fires that released radioactive contaminants into the air that drifted over parts of the USSR, Europe, Scandinavia, and eastern North America. Large areas of Ukraine, Belarus, and Russia were so badly contaminated that 336,000 people had to be evacuated. 49,000 of those were from the nearby city of Pripyat, a place they never returned to. The Chernobyl disaster, as the incident is now known, is considered the worst accident ever in the history of nuclear power. The initial explosion killed two engineers, and over the course of the next few months, 28 more people would die as a result of radiation poisoning, one of the worst possible ways to die, and many more would lose their lives prematurely as a result of being exposed to radiation, mostly from cancer-related illnesses. The question is, was the disaster foreseen by a strange bird-like creature seen around the power plant in the days leading up to the disaster? Several workers claim to have witnessed the creature, and all the sightings describe the same large, dark, mutated man with gigantic wings and glowing red eyes. In addition to the sighting, those who witnessed the phenomena later experienced horrific nightmares featuring a beast with a 20-foot wingspan and red glowing eyes. They also received threatening phone calls from an unknown caller. Reports of these strange occurrences continue to increase right up until the morning of April 26th. After the disaster struck, the cryptid was again sighted in the ruins of the power plant. Cleanup workers and helicopter pilots described a large black bird-like creature with a 20-foot wingspan gliding through the swirling plumes of irradiated smoke pouring from the reactor. Strangely, the sightings before and after the disaster are practically the same, and the beast's appearance and possible foretelling of catastrophe have been likened to the famous cryptid Mothman. The most commonly accepted theory suggests that the Black Bird of Chernobyl, as it's now known, may have been the same creature spotted in Point Pleasant, West Virginia, leading up to the collapse of the Silver Bridge, and it's speculated that the appearance of the creature is an omen of disasters to come in the area in which it shows itself. There are of course skeptics who suggest the Black Bird of Chernobyl is in fact a black stork, an endangered species endemic to southern Eurasia. This theory, however, fails to explain the menacing phone calls and the disturbing nightmares. Also, the description given by the eyewitnesses does not match the physical appearance of the black stork. So with that theory pretty much debunked, do you think the black bird of Chernobyl and the Mothman are one in the same creature? The Freeburg Shrieker on September 10, 1978, workers at a mine close to the city of Freiburg in the state of Baden-Württemberg, Germany, experienced a very strange event. As they approached the entrance of the mine to start their day's work, they noticed a man they did not recognize. He appeared to be dressed in a dark leather trench coat and seemed to be guarding the mine entrance. As the men got closer, a couple of them walked ahead towards the individual to see what he wanted. However, when they got within a few feet of him, what they thought was a coat flung open and formed a pair of huge outstretched wings attached to a humanoid body. The creature prevented the men from entering the mine and confronted with the unknown, they didn't try to get past. Instead, the terrified workers stood back and busied themselves with work on the ground in the hope the creature would move away. After waiting for what seemed like hours, the miners felt the ground shake followed by an explosion deep within the mine. The men rushed to the mine entrance to discover the winged creature was gone, 
and a huge plume of smoke and flame bellowed from the entrance of the mine. When the smoke and flames died down, and officials were able to examine the mine, it was determined that all 36 miners, should they had been at their designated posts, would have been killed. This has led some investigators to suggest that the Freeburg Shrieker, as he became known, appeared that day to prevent the men from entering the mine and in the process, saved their lives. The same foreboding theory linked to both the Mothman of Point Pleasant and the Blackbird of Chernobyl, who were also sighted just before disaster struck. Could they be the same entity and an omen to impending doom? A postscript to the story states that six months after the incident, most of the miners lost their jobs due to serious mental health disorders. Two of the workers who did remain employed dedicated their lives to revealing the truth behind what happened that day and sharing their findings with the world. However, both of them have died unusually young and extremely impoverished. To this day, the stories of the Freiburg Shrieker, the Mothman, and the Black Bird of Chernobyl remain shrouded in mystery. The Mothman may have tried to warn people of the Fukushima disaster. In the days leading up to the deadly 2011 Japanese earthquake and tsunami, a witness named Marcus Pools claimed to have made a sighting of what he believes was the Mothman. Poles had been in Japan on business in February of 2011 and had decided to stay with a friend in the rural town of Okuma in the Fukushima region. One day the two friends went out to look around the town and in the evening went to the seaside, walking along a path that took them close to the Dashi Fukushima nuclear power plant. As they walked along, Poles claims that he heard a sudden whoosh followed by an ear-piercing shriek, the likes of which he had never heard before. As they looked back towards the plant, they saw a figure, Poles described as. From the distance I was at, it looked to be sitting on top one of the squared, shaped buildings. It sat there for about five seconds, then it unfurled a large set of what I could only describe as large black wings. The creature took flight, circling the plant a few times before coming closer. That's when I noticed the two large red eyes. They seemed to glow from within and with a blood red hue. They were unblinking in the three to four seconds we saw them. We knew they were looking straight at us. We knew this creature knew we could see it and it made no attempt to disguise itself. After witnessing the unknown creature, Pauls described an immense feeling of dread that washed over him before the creature vanished as quickly as it had appeared. A few weeks later, when Pauls was back home in America, he heard the news about the devastation caused by the Japanese earthquake. The massive magnitude 9 earthquake that struck on March 11th, 2011 and generated a devastating tsunami that battered the coastal Tohoku region of the country and left death and destruction in its wake. As if that wasn't bad enough, the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant was also so badly damaged that it went into a nuclear meltdown poisoning the environment, its animals, its people, and causing lasting damage that reverberates to this day. Thousands upon thousands of people were killed, and many more were injured or left homeless. The once thriving communities were left broken and devastated by the power of nature. After seeing the devastation, Pauls thought back to his frightening encounter with the winged humanoid bird, and wondered if this was the mythical Mothman doing his strange work of predicting disasters. This seemed to be reinforced when another witness came forward, who claimed on the evening of the disaster he was hiking with a friend not far from the nuclear facility when they spotted a very large flying creature that at first they thought was a very large bird. They estimated it to have a wingspan of at least 10 to 15 feet, and the two men were transfixed on the creature as it silently flew off in the direction of the power plant. However, as it came closer, they soon realized it was not a bird. It was some kind of humanoid beast with recognizable arms and legs and huge leathery wings and an oversized head. For a moment, it sat on one of the plant's buildings before leaping off the edge and disappearing into the night sky. The man who wants to remain anonymous also got the feeling that the creature knew what was about to happen.
is O'Hare International Airport, the new home of the Mothman. On November 26, 2019, a truck driver stopped to pick up a load at O'Hare International Airport in Chicago, where he claims he witnessed a person with wings around seven feet tall standing by a fence. He later reported the sighting to UFO Clearinghouse, an online source for odd encounters that describes itself as a portal for the truth. This is how he described the encounter. I was at the airport picking up a load of Nippon. I was already backed into a dock and was standing away from the truck smoking a cigarette while they loaded my truck. I was looking towards the runways in the direction of the tunnel and that is when I noticed something that looked like a large bird standing just outside of the fence by the parking lot. It was not hard to miss because two street lamps were nearby. It looked like a person with wings but was stretched out and flapping. It was walking away from the fence towards the open field and then began to flap its wings and disappeared. Further investigations with the driver revealed the creature had a wingspan of approximately six feet and looked like a solid black demon or a goblin that walked with a gait like a bird. It was also discovered that the truck driver had seen a similar creature as a child in Mexico that he witnessed circling an open field, making loud screeching noises before disappearing into the surrounding forest. Since the airport sighting, over a dozen more reports came in, not just from the airport, but from the surrounding communities. Most of these occurred in the evening, often in or near a park or body of water. Witnesses consistently describe a large grey, brown or black bird-like creature with humanoid features and glowing red, yellow or orange eyes. Many of the observers are overcome with feelings of intense fear after encountering the beast. One of the most credible sightings happened on December 30th, 2021 by an airport employee. Here is his account of what happened. I was working on Thursday, the 30th of the 12th, 2021, at the American Airlines aircraft hangar at about 11.30 at night. I was outside with about three other individuals. We were in the process of bringing a 777-200 into the hangar to get some maintenance done on one of the engines. This was a routine that we did almost daily on a variety of planes at this particular hangar. As we were hooking up the plane to the tug to move it and communicating with each other, I looked up and saw three large black creatures over by the parking lot. They were about seven feet tall each and they were just staring right at us. I yelled out to Carlos and he tells Robert and all three of us are looking straight at these things when one of them opens what looks like large black wings and shoots off onto the sky, followed by the others, all three making a sort of screeching sound as they take off. A few seconds later, a security vehicle comes screaming up through the driveway and stops, and some white chubby security person runs out with his flashlight and starts checking the area. He's shortly joined by three other trucks and a couple of supervisors that I recognized from staff meetings. I looked over and Robert is doing the same thing I am doing and recording this on our phones. I know that both of us had to have gotten a glimpse of these creatures right as they took off. One of the supervisors came up to us and told us to stop recording and to put our phones away or she would report us to our supervisors. The area where these things were has to have at least four different cameras, at least two are in plain sight for all to see. After about an hour, we were approached by the same supervisor, our immediate supervisor, and three other men, and told to go into the break room and remain in there and not talk to anyone. They came in after 10 minutes and said that we were not to talk to anyone in regards to what we saw and that they were requiring us to send them the video we had shot on our phones and then delete the video off of our phones or we would be immediately terminated. When we demanded that we see our union steward first, we were told this was a matter of internal security and that this superseded the authority of the union. We attempted to argue and were then told in a raised voice that we would not be allowed to leave without the deletion of the video in our phones. I did not want to lose my job after eight years, especially when the benefits and pay were really good. So I sent my video to the supervisor's phone and in front of her and the others deleted the video. We were told that we were to keep this to ourselves and not allowed to speak to anyone or we would lose our jobs. Well, after a lot of consideration, they can kiss my whole black ass 
and I decided to write to you about what happened. I cannot just sit back and get told to keep something a secret just because they want to keep lining their pockets. I called and asked my union steward, and he told me he would look into it and get back to me. I've yet to hear back from him. These people ain't playing around. They have checked it on us at least twice, and I have also heard from others that have seen the same thing, that they were told to stay quiet or risk losing their jobs. So many people have been threatened with being fired if they told their story. What you hear reported are just a small piece of these things. However, that was not the end of the matter. The four workers have since been checked in on by security staff to ensure they remain silent about what they saw or risk losing their jobs. And it seems this is not an isolated incident. Other workers at the airport who have witnessed the creature have endured the same thing. So what are officials trying to cover up? Why the secrecy and suppression of the sightings? Is there more to these Mothman sightings than a misidentified large bird or unknown species? It is known that aside from witnessing the creature, other associated strangeness has occurred in the immediate aftermath around O'Hare International Airport. These include reports of UFOs, parapsychological phenomena, and bizarre nightmares. So what exactly is going on here? Could this area be a hotspot, a portal, if you will, to creatures and things that we cannot fully comprehend? What do you think? So that's it for this video. We'd love to know if you've ever sighted the Mothman, and if so, please send your story to us, to mystory at topfives.co.uk. Also give us a yes, no, or maybe in the comments section below on whether or not you believe in the Mothman. Thanks for watching, and as always, we'll see you in the next video.